Hello and welcome to Maths Plus. Today we're covering the Leave and Cert 2022 question 2 in paper 2. It's a circle question. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So let's have a look now at the question with the circle. So we, we have an equation up here and the students may be familiar with this format because this is like the formula in the log table. So let's write down our formula x minus h to b squared plus y minus k to b squared is equal to r squared. So x and y are the coordinates of the circle. h and k are the coordinates of the center. So if we compare directly, we can look at the minus 4 and we can look at the minus h and we can deduct that the x coordinate of the center is 4. We can look at the plus 2 now and look at the minus k. So to make that a plus 2, the k would need to be a minus 2, as minus minus 2 is plus 2. So <coughs> always change your signs. All right, so let's look at the r squared. So if, if r squared is in the formula is 1, 6, 9, well, we can set r squared equal to 1, 6, 9. We can square root both sides as the square root of r squared is equal to r. Therefore, use your calculator and we get r is equal to 13. All right, on to question two now. So let's check is the point 11, 10 on the circle. So to check is it on the circle, we need to replace the x and y on the original equation. So let's do that with the calculator. So first of all, x minus 4 to be squared will be 11 minus 4 all to be squared. And on to the second bracket now, y plus 2 to be squared, replace the y with 10. Let's get 10 plus 2 to be squared. So if these are equal to r squared, it's on the circle. If it's greater than, it's outside. And you guessed it, if it's less than, it's inside. So let's compute out the values. So we're going to get 7 squared plus 12 squared and we get 193 on the right hand side and 193 is greater than 169 therefore it's going to be outside so straightforward question there all based on the formula in page 19 of the log tables Right on to the next question. So we have two circles. Find the coordinates of another point on circle S. So let's see what we have at the start. We have this center. We have a circle here. So we need to get a, a coordinate over here. So we would have a, a value okay which would be um equal on both sides so let's see what we could do well if we want to look at the symmetry we can go along the diameter can go across here and reach a point on the other side and if we can get that point then it will be on the circle so we need to go from the 12 11 to the 22, 13, and we need to go on again to the next point. So let's do that. So 12, 11 goes to 22, 13. 
So in the x direction, it went up plus 10. Let's look at the y direction. It's going up from 11 to 13, which is plus 2. Let's apply this now to the center point because it's the same translation as it's the midpoint. It would be the exact same translation to go forward to a point over here. So let's call this point P. So for point P, we will have 22 plus 10, so that's 32, and 13 plus 2, which is 15. So that's part B, 1. And on to part C now. We want to find the center of the circle T. So we're going in the opposite direction now. We have to go back. But we are given some important information that the circle T is half the radius of circle S. So we know that in the x direction, we went plus 10 to the right, up here, plus 10, and plus 2. So if we have that and subtract it on the other side, well, we could go halfway back. So maybe let's make a note of that. So we're going to go half the original, half, and it's back, okay, therefore it's going to be negative. So we're going to go minus 5 in the x direction. And then we're going to go minus 1 in the y direction. So it's going to be 12 minus 5. And 11 minus 1. Alright, so we're going to get a final answer of 7, 10, and that's the center of T. So I hope you enjoyed the maths today on question 2 in the circle. Um, there will be more videos on, on paper 2 on the way, so please look out for them. Thank you for joining Maths Plus.